five years of Don't Tell the Bride. 48 brave brides. 48 game on grooms. Dozens of dress disasters. Don't panic. And one near miss. Please just get on the plane. I'm not. Come in. Game over. Now we're back for a whole new roller coaster ride. As 12 more blushing brides <laughs> leave the biggest day of their lives oh my God. in the hands of the men they love. The grooms get three weeks and 12,000 pounds. 12 G's, man. Oh my God. Are you ready? I'm all ready, mate. And the brides yeah. get no say in how it's spent. I just don't want to do this anymore. So saddle up for tears. He's not going to get the right one. Ah! Tantrums. Total meltdowns. I can't even find a wedding for her. I can't, I can't do anything. <laughs> Tonight, the pressure's on for tomboy Anna. This is the biggest decision I've ever had to make. To give her bride to be Sean. I am getting quite nervous now. The classy civil wedding of her dreams. Oh my God. I think we'll be divorced before the day's <laughs> even be over. <laughs> but how will Anna's tomboyish brain? She's got big views. <laughs> Cope in such a girly world. Oh, how do girls do this? Can her best woman Come on, kids. keep her in check oh. and in one piece? Basically, the poo's hitting the fan. Will she ever unleash her inner girliness? Oh, oh no. no. Can this woman I'm mad. give her woman it's fine. a day she'll never forget? I just want to go home, just scrap it. I feel like not marrying her now. Today, 24-year-old Sean's moving out of the home she shares in Liverpool with her 31-year-old girlfriend, Anna, and the two men in their lives, Zach and Lawrence. These two Scousers are crazy about each other, but we need to rewind a little to see where their love story began. Neither support worker Anna nor fashion manager Sean were looking for a relationship when they first set eyes on each other in a gay bar in Liverpool. I just thought she was gorgeous. I went on to my friend all the time. Oh, she's just gorgeous. I just think she's the nicest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. She just looks like a little doll. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Cupid had struck. But Anna wasn't going to have an easy ride from her future girlfriend. I could see Anna <laughs> just giving me the eye. But I, I didn't really want to know his eye. I was trying to act all cool. But we did happen to bump into each other a few times, didn't we? Oh, good few times, Sean. A good few times. Now when I look back, you were obviously stalking me and playing hard <laughs> to get. Oh my God! Dream on! <laughs> it wasn't long before they knew they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together. I think she's absolutely gorgeous and I love her eyes and her smile. When she smiles, it kind of lights the whole face So That's what I love about her, really. I can't explain how, how I knew she was the one. I just loved everything about her. And just thought, bloody hell, this is, this is a bit mad. <laughs> Being with Sean finally gave Anna the courage she needed to come out to her parents. When I met Sean, I thought I'm going to have to tell her. So I just said, Mum, I know you know I'm gay, but I've never told you. So, you know, I'm telling you. She was crying, going, oh, I just want you to, I just want you to be happy. What's her name? Can I meet her? Anna knew Sean was the one, and four months later promptly popped the question. I think I want to marry you. Anna's big. Romantic proposal was in a text. It wasn't, an, I knew you were going to say that. It, it wasn't, wasn't a text. text? No, it wasn't a text. It wasn't a text because we spoke about it. Yeah, no, we'd yeah. spoke about it. And then in a text one day, we just said, let's just get engaged, let's just do it. But Anna's not quite so decisive at home. You'd haven't opened a single letter, you'd haven't opened a single bill or paid one. Anna's just hopeless, really. I mean, she doesn't sort bills out, she can't open letters. Oh, Anna, you drive me mad now. Honest to God. Even her intended has to agree. Any mail, even if I don't know what it is, I haven't got a clue. She's got my name on. I go, I don't open mail. I've ne never, never handled mail in my life. <laughs> I have once, but. <laughs> Excuse the pun. So it's no surprise that Anna's hopelessly wrapped around Sean's little finger. Who wears the trousers physically? It's me, <laughs> but <laughs> obviously, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sean, where's the trousers? She gets her own way all the time. Oh, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that as well. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about to change. For the next three weeks, it's going to be Anna's way all the way. Oh, Sean, that's ridiculous. I'm going to have to hire a lorry or something to get to your mum's. Don't be dramatic. The task ahead is huge because these girls couldn't be more different. I'm a real girly girl, really. I um, love all my like, fashion and clothes shopping and stuff. What do you think of this one? I'm very tomboyish. That's the only way I can describe me. I am I'm a tomboy. But to give her woman what she wants, Anna will have to immerse herself in Sean's girly world, so to speak. I've never bought a dress in my life. I wouldn't know what was a nice dress and what wasn't a nice dress. I'd know if the woman was nice that was in the dress, but I wouldn't know if the dress was nice. Anna's a fish out of water in the world of weddings, and Sean won't be happy with anything less than a very big white one. I've always dreamt of quite a, a big a big day, really. I want it quite traditional. It doesn't mean that, you know, the day's got to be any different to if I was marrying a man. It's a gay wedding, so... I wouldn't want us to do traditional, I want to, I want to do something different, because we are different. This lesbian love affair is about to be put to the ultimate test. When Sean leaves her girly wedding in Anna's not-so-girly hands. Do you think that's going to be a disaster, me arranging it? <laughs> Biggest disaster ever. I think I should have been the bride. <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye. Oh, I've got to go. Seriously? It's only three weeks. Oh, this isn't short. Make it short. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Love you. I feel like we're sick. I feel like I've lost my right hand already. I have a chocolate, it always cheers me up. <laughs> Chocolate's the answer to everything. Sean's moving seven miles away back to her mum's. Her sister Stephanie lives just next door. You okay? Oh, home sweet home. Sean's homecoming has reminded mum Shirley of the dream she once had for her daughter's big day. I was just have in my head that she was going to have this big white wedding one day and a man, <laughs> a Mary and a man. But I never imagined she'd be gay and be marrying a woman. Sean settles back into her pretty pink bedroom. I just think she looks gorgeous. A bit more of a girly side to it as well. I think we're actually talking to these every night, just warning her. Just please, just get this right for me. She needn't worry. Anna's just called for backup. Yo, they wanna know. Introducing rapper MC Styly. Or Jade. Best mates of five years and her best woman. She's more into beatboxing than bridal wear. And no more in touch with her feminine side than Anna. Anna and Jade together. It's just unthinkable, really. People assume two women plan the wedding, everything's going to be amazing. But we both lead each other astray at times, so I don't know what's going to happen. Eager to give Sean her dream wedding, Anna reveals her vision for the reception venue. A warehouse. Something like an hour building just looks wrecked on the outside. It's perfect for a girly wedding. Assuming the girl in question drives a forklift truck. Don't do it all up on the outside, just do it all up on the inside. So as she's coming well, down, she's going to be thinking, what, yeah, what's, what's going on here? Where am I going? Yeah, okay. definitely. This is not my venue. What are you thinking about doing inside, though? Aren't they classy? Do you know what I mean? Sounds it. And how do we achieve classy? Over to Jade. Do a masquerade ball, Anna. I swear to God, it would be amazing. It'd be dead sexy and cool. We'd get like burlesque dancers on and all different entertainments and stuff. Unless <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't your mate up about. <laughs> Trust me, don't worry about it. This is your time to show Sean what you can do. My time to shine. We will Cheers do it. Cheers for that, Cheers. definitely. Isn't it? Woo!
<laughs> so the idea for Shan's big day is to stick her in a dodgy warehouse full of guests she won't recognise because they all have masks on. They meet at the docks where Jade's lined up a mask cabaret night keen to convince Anna of her plan. Just get an idea of the entertainment, get an idea of the style of what they're wearing and everything, you know what I mean? Just pick up on stuff. Yeah, it'll be so good to have a look on. like, but I just don't know. In they go. There's nothing wrong with this as a wedding theme. Well, except her and him and him and her. Is this really what Jade had in mind? Guess the uh, masquerade ball team's death all the winter, isn't it? <laughs> well, them people are insane. Anna, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know we can wipe that idea clean off the paper. It's an experience, but you know what? That's a bit too much of an experience. <laughs> and with that, Jade's masquerade theme falls firmly on its arse. Anna's still set on a warehouse for the reception, but she wants somewhere much grander to say her vows. Today, P is full positivity. Let's go. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm dead nervous. Liverpool's town hall is certainly grand enough. It could be the perfect setting for Sean's girly white wedding. But Anna doesn't want girly. She wants something more in touch with her masculine side. Gloria, Gloria. This is like, you know, the seat of power kind of thing. This is where all the decisions get made. I can feel it. That's why I'm so... <laughs> so overwhelmed and so excited. It's powerful, Anna. It shows a sign of you, though. This is a bit more me, Dan Sean. This is a bit more manly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's just... That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless, Anna. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You can feel what goes on in here. It's not Sean, though. Oh, imagine she hates it. Oh, this is the biggest decision I've ever had to make, ever. And that's why I'm struggling. Yeah, it is about making a statement, but it could just go wrong. But Anna's prepared to risk a thousand pounds on making her manly statement. I just need to know dates. I need to know okay. the availability. It's free, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm really crying when you it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's so oh, good. Oh, I made up. It's back to reception planning, and there's one more woman Anna still needs to impress with her warehouse idea. Her sister, Louise. Come on, then. <laughs> Yeah. You might think I'm I'm mad. Why? Because I think Sean's idea. mad for letting yet organise a whole wedding. Everyone's just gonna think, you know, man of house country garden. I know Sean would want that, but I'm doing something totally opposite than that. <gasps> what? A run down area with a warehouse. <laughs> Pretty wedding day. Sean's like a little princess, Anna. With the reception venue still to find, Anna wants to show Sister Louise the kind of rough and ready style she's looking for. <laughs> Meanwhile, just five miles away, Sean's brought her bridesmaid Hannah along to classic Croxteth Hall, where she's keen to show off the classy feminine style she wants. This country estate is set in elegant surroundings with exquisite rooms perfect for Sean's classic wedding. Yeah, this just like red carpet, imagine me walking up the stairs right down yeah. here and then the in. The ceiling is just... It is gorgeous, isn't it? Imagine just pictures out there. Yeah. Put like some nice flowers around, mm. couldn't you? Is this what you'd want? This yeah. style? Yeah. Yeah. This exactly is perfect. I don't even think Anna's got a clue what she wants, let alone what she thinks I would want, really. Yeah, yeah. Because she wouldn't like none of this stuff, would she? I can't see it here now. Really? I, can't, I can't even picture what she'd even do. You couldn't even begin to imagine. 
Love is in the air Everywhere I look around Stinks <laughs> Love is in the air Every sight and every sound Somewhere like that, in that building like that No, no I mean, I'm not I'm not messing the wheels I mean If they had a big room in there A big square room, massive And it was just like for me to go in a blank canvas and do it up And make it look amazing it looks awful. There's just no words. Outside, it's just perfect, isn't it? Just this, all this space. And just looking at the building itself is absolutely gorgeous. I can't see if there's been anything that Anna would go for, really. What will she get? I try to think. Looks like a tramp's little door. Why yeah, passing? This is the effect of all the if you go somewhere spectacular outside, you're just going to expect it and you're not going to appreciate it when you go in. You're just going, oh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. But if that was you on your wedding day, would you get out the car or would you tell them to turn around, honestly? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't say that. Oh, yeah. I just hope that she thinks along the same lines as what I think. Yeah. If she doesn't get this right, then I think we'll be divorced before the <laughs> day's even be over. <laughs> no, we'll be all right, it? What's the worst that could happen, really? Seriously? Probably best not to dwell on that. As the search for a gritty venue continues, Anna hooks up with Jade for a visit to Liverpool's contemporary urban centre. Could this have the classy feminine feel that Sean would wish for her wedding? So this is the mezzanine? No. But it's exactly what Anna's had her heart set on. Oh my God, it's amazing, isn't it? Hey. Oh my God. You're not stuck to the furniture that's in the room. Yeah, I like so that. you could use that at a bit more like well loungy, better. cooler kind of space. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love gonna... it. Can we go up and have a look up there? Yeah, go see. So it's set up at the moment for a quite formal dining, but. You can just change it to however which so way I you want to do it. I could have these out of it, I didn't want these. You could have it out. This is perfect. Anna's got her blank canvas. So now she can put all her love into making it what she thinks is girly for Sean. We've got work to do in here now. We've got, we haven't just picked a venue and then that's you it, said, go. Yeah, yeah, and then relax. Do. We've got to come and do it. And you'll be able to put your, your uh, stamp so on into it. it and your stamp, you know what I mean? Your, your love into it. It's like the pressure's gone, but now it's a brand, brand new stress on our heads now doing all this up. And the brand new stress has just cost her two and a half grand. Home alone. Well, not quite. And now she's ready to start striking more items off her to-do list. I'll take that off. And you. That's what we can take. Oh my god. Ah, oh, so much to do. At least someone appreciates her efforts. Five days in, and Anna decides it's time to prettify her warehouse. She and Sister Louise are in search of some decor that will wow the bride to be. At a car boot sale? Oh, I think that would be boss though, just like that in the room. I love it. A scooter, that's perfect. That'll be the centerpiece. <laughs> I think you can call it a day, love. That's the decor sorted. It's just not going good for me no. this day. I need to find <laughs> something ASAP. Not just any old thing, Anna. Something useful, maybe. We've got eight. Four of them and then four different ones. That's eight chairs for 200 guests. Do the maths. And why not throw a couple of mirrors into the mix? At least it will look like there are twice as many chairs. Oblivious to the delights that Anna has so far laid on for her wedding, Sean and her mum are wondering how her beloved is getting on. Do you think if you was arranging it all, you'd have it all done by now, or...? Yeah, more or less, I think, yeah. Probably should have wrote a little list of like, every single thing that they can think, you know, at the beginning, that they're going to need, so then they can kind of just tick it all tick off. Tick them all off. If you haven't got a list with you, you end up buying random things. And Jade's about to see those random things. 
Okay, we got, we got eight chairs and a mirror as well. Oh, thank you, you very much. Okie doke. You feel like you shouldn't believe me on the own, should you no more? Never again. With things so clearly pear-shaped, Jade decides it's time to have a quiet word. Well, a word anyway. This lady standing before us today needs to be barred from the car boot sale. Do not ever sell her Chinese chairs for a wedding again. Sean's gonna be made up. This is just a load of shit. Oh, that's a bit harsh. I'll settle for a pile of junk. One week over, and so far Anna's approached the girly world of weddings like, well, a bloke. But never mind, she's out celebrating her stag do at Liverpool's Gay Pride. Ashley, do you know, like your purpose? Uh, don't tell the bride. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank God, just over here. All right, you look amazing. But one person isn't feeling quite so gay. Sean has somewhere else to go. Work. I just feel horrible that I can't really go with her. You know, it, it would have been nice for me to go and kind of show, like, me support and stuff like that. So we have to have a good day away. All right, thanks, Mum. See you later. That looks like it's going to rain, really, so I'm just hoping that it rains, eh? But no one's raining on Anna's parade today. The Dreams. Missing from this stag. I've been to half an hour in a dream, it's alright. You're having a dream, you're having a dream. I don't want to dance, I'll go. I don't want to dance. Is that alright? Yeah, that's It's week two. Anna's spent four grand and still only got two venues and some decor. But she's still missing the gown, cars, flowers, cake, rings, bridesmaids. Right the good news is she's up with the birds, just not her bird. The bad news is she's got to go back to work. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen for myself a cup of ambition and Season. I'm close away. I wish I didn't have to go in, but I do. Not me taxi. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Anna's back at her job as a support worker all week, so she'll have to put her wedding plans on hold. And reality's beginning to bite. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think it's impossible, isn't it? The next four days slip through her fingers, just like that. It's high time for some best womanly intervention. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need you. We haven't got nothing. Oh my god. What am I going to do? Basically, the poo's hitting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not even funny. It's a new day, but the same, same old obsession. Anna's back on the hunt for warehouse decor. At least this time she's brought sensible Jade along to keep her in line. Come on, kids! Yeah. Or maybe bringing Jade wasn't such a good idea. <sighs> oh. That's more random clubber sorted. And to the front desk, please. And to the front desk. 
Thank you. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> <laughs> In all the stress, the woman who's in charge of her whole wedding has forgotten her own birthday. But her future missus hasn't. Arriving home with her sister Louise, Anna's in for a surprise. Oh my god. Oh, isn't that lovely how you open it? To my Annie, I can't believe on your first birthday we should have been spending together with a path. I'm missing you more than anything. You truly are the most amazing person ever, Anna. You're beautiful inside and out. <laughs> I'm proud to know that I'm about to become your wife. Can't wait to see you and your gorgeous smile. I hope you're not stressing too much. Even though I know you will be. Whatever happens, I love you and always will. Thank you so much. Love you the whole world and back again, you're Shawnee. Just over a week to go, Sean's touching words have given Anna new focus for the wedding. If she wants to give her beloved the day of her dreams, Anna will have to find her the bridal gown of her dreams. But this is the girl who's never bought a dress in her life. So she won't be leaving without Jade by her side. I still haven't got a clue about dresses, to be honest, but I'm going to have a look, can't I? Not yet she can't. Because Jade's not into dresses either and has no intention of trying one on, even for her best mate. So she's on the hunt for a model. I like them tall girls. I like them short girls. Which one of you is one to be? Sean. Anyone? Never get lonely in here, would you? Ever? I think you're going to be perfect for the job. Jade's found her replacement. But she's a bit legless. Oh, <laughs> Finally, the best woman arrives with her newfound friend. Oh, what's that? Sure. <laughs> We're not carrying that down with us. Oh, don't worry, she comes to pieces, love. Hi, B. <laughs> Anna, Jade, and uh, Sean head off to shop. Whatever happens, the trio can't return home without a wedding dress. Oh, oh, that sorry. Oh. sorry. But with the dummy in pieces, Anna the blonde bombshell drops. Well, a bombshell. When we go to the next shop, if you could try something on. Did you do that? Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'm getting more of an idea what it looks like on. Oh, this is going to be funny, isn't it? Do you know what size she is? So I think she was a 10 last time I seen her. <laughs> this girl needs help. I'm a bride and a groom at the same time. Right. <laughs> but I'm looking for a dress for um, obviously my wife to be, but I don't even know what I'm looking for. You don't say. It's a lovely plain one, but it's not too. Here's a lovely Grecian style what Kelly's got out there. Oh, I like that. And there's that one here as well. Yeah, that's nice as well. Yeah, Jade. Totally different. It is. <laughs> Jade, would I try that on? No, she really isn't. Not very happy about it, are you? I'm fine, isn't Let's it? Get a picture. Okay. <laughs> Anna, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> she won't even know how to put it on. Across town, Sean's also taking Mum Shirley and bridesmaid Hannah frock shopping. And Shirley picks out the dream dress that she thinks Sean would love. That is absolutely fabulous. I do quite like that. Mum waits with bated breath. I would like to see her get married in a real one. Wow, Sean. Oh my God. Oh my God, Sean. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my Jamaican veil over. <laughs> oh no, Sean's fabulous. You look like a real princess. While Sean's feeling like a real princess, Jade's feeling like a right, Charlie. 
Mann, ne? Tschüss! Oh, what? No. She's like this dress, Anna. <laughs> Jump this one. No, listen. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at my brother in a dress. You can take a picture if you want. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, photographic evidence is just what she wants. Never did I think, as a best man, I would be doing this. With half the day gone, the girls are yet to be wowed by anything. Got to have it done by today, though, this dress. Got to have it done by today, yeah. I'm doing so, it today. It's on a, yeah. We're on a mission. Sean's on a mission of her own. She's got something much sexier than a princess dress in mind. Isn't that just fabulous? Oh, my God. In the name of love, Anna's braved the bridal world. But eight hours in, she's still empty-handed. And the shops are closing. Got no dress, no nothing. No beard. Luckily, one bridal shop is still open. This is Anna's last chance to get it right for the girl she loves. I love the wall, so I need help. This is where I need your help to tell me what her style is. She's a very girly girl. She like, you know, she's n not your typical looking type lesbian, if, if you want me to say <laughs> yeah. just how it is. Feminine, floaty, girly look. Yeah. Would she? Yeah. yeah. Sean's found her showstopper. Sean. Oh, it's gorgeous. beautiful. It's Absolutely beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> See, this is just me. I want something that just fits that nice. Do you know what I mean? I just love the style of it and I love this. Yeah, I do. It's all just glittery and just, but not too much. Like, not over the top, is it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's that glamorous, isn't it? Yeah. It's graceful and girly all the way for this Grecian goddess. Wowzers. That's lovely. Against all the odds, dress phobic Anna's thinking along the same lines. Is Sean, would you say, a size smaller than Jade? Or body wise? No, she's, she's probably the same here. Yeah. She's got big boobs as well. Well, we've got room in there to fit big boobs. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. I like to see that bit there at the top. It's different, isn't it? Don't make decisions as a rule. Buy it. Never made a decision in my life, never mind, a huge one like this. I am getting quite nervous now, because I've seen exactly what I want more yeah. or less now, and I just... Unless you brought that in, I am going to be disappointed, even if it's nice, because exactly. my heart's set on it now, isn't it? Prepare to be disappointed then. Oh, it's stunning. Because Anna's gone from Grecian to fitted lacy fishtail. That's... that's what I like, but then I'm thinking about Oh, well, what if Sean doesn't like her? It's not her uh, style, but I think that's stunning. I've got my dress, that's it. That's the really? One. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, it's that emotional, isn't it? There's no going back now, you've oh, said yeah. it. No going back. Don't She's going to stop Not again. <laughs> I just think it's the most stunning thing I've ever seen. But just I don't know whether Sean will. Anna's put 12 hours, a thousand pounds, and every ounce of her love into finding something special for her Sean. With less than a week to go, and Sean's about to get her first taste of Anna's planning at her Hindu. Now and I can't wait just to see what it is now. Oh, yeah. oh wow! Oh, Use the props in the bags, no ifs, but some maybes. No, oh no, rollers. I've never put a roller in my life. The unwary hens don't get the significance of the rollers. Yes. Do we even know where we're going? No. But roller skating's exactly where she sent them. The budget, £150. Not much. Turns out that's not even enough. 
She hasn't even paid the skating, which has just set us back £30. Best get their skates on. Sean's still banging on about the budget. It was £150, £30 spent on roller skating. We could have got six bottles of wine with that. This is on Anna, yes. How generous. Portion of chips each. Enjoy. Thank you. Ever the romantic, my Annie sends me skating with a portion of chips. Yeah. Who would have thought we would have come roller skating? We thought that we would have been eating a slap up meal with bottles of wine now. I can't believe it. I keep thinking, oh, ha, 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 it's funny. And then I keep thinking, no, it's not. The gloves are off and the heels back on. But Sean's not skating around the subject. I was expecting, like, a spa weekend or something for my hand. Not two hours of skating. Anna's failed her first girly test. And Sean can't hide her disappointment to Sister Stephanie. I can't do this if this is... I'm going to feel on the Wednesday if it's not right, do you know what I mean? I just want to go home now and just... I know I can't, but just scrap it. I'm just scared now what the wedding's going to be. Four days to go, and Anna's blown half of her budget. But she needs to find her feminine side if she's to get this wedding right. I don't know how much bridesmaids this is up. Shoes. Underwear, shoes. Makeup. Earrings, makeup, hair. Oh, fuck off. Oh, uh, Anna! Time is money, money is time, innit? They're going to have to step it up a pace. First up, girly glamorous bridal shoes. I don't know what that looks nice or not. Yeah. It's not for me. I won't be trying that on. If I'm doing it, give me soft on. I don't know how these go. Don't ask her. Oh, how do girls do this? Whoa. <laughs> I feel like I'm on still. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go flam skin in case for. What do you think? And look at me. <laughs> it's the blind leading the blind. You have to put one foot in front of the other, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Can't do it. Woo! <laughs> I couldn't wait to wear something like that for a million pounds. Can I have them then, please? Yep, sure. Good. Thank you very much. Oh, oh. On a roll, the girls head to women's wear for blue bridesmaids dresses. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hannah and Stephanie can only wait and worry. What are you saying about bridesmaids dresses? Before <laughs> 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 oh, you didn't see it, you're slanking them off, aren't you? No, you don't mind hot pants, do you? <laughs> oh, oh. What do oh, you think? They're, they're nice. Yeah, what do you I think like, of the yeah. colour? Yeah. Yeah. Like the colour? Yeah. Have I done all right? Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. I think she's getting the hang of this. Ooh, very nice. Turn around, let's do the twirl. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Do you like the jade? Nice, auntie. That's £600 well spent on a very ladylike choice. After three weeks of wedding planning, it looks like the tomboys finally found her inner girl. I've got a feminine side, I didn't know I had. It's the day before the wedding, and Sean's about to come face to face with the only dress that Anna's ever bought in her life. The bridal gown that she spent 12 hours lovingly looking for. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't be anything like that. You're nervous. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to bring it out and let you see it first? Should I see it first? I thought you were going to blind build. No, go on, I'll see it. You, I'll do? see it first, please. OK. Thank you. <gasps> you can have a hard time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be lovely. Oh, God. You can see it Oh, oh no. I don't like her. I don't like her. I just don't see why she'd think that like that. 
Okay, try it on. And <laughs> it will look can't. different. Will things look up when she tries the dress on? They certainly can't get much worse. See, sometimes, uh, like you say, things can look well nicer on than they do mm. off, so. Right there. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, Sean. No, it's fabulous. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It's what? It's so Sean. Okay. It looks lovely on you. Absolutely beautiful. I think it looks gorgeous. Oh, I don't know. I'm not, like, dead happy with it. I'm not gonna lie. Do you think it'll grow on you? No. I just feel dead like frumpy. It's not me at all. I can't believe that she'd pick this. It's not my style, it's not me. I just can't see why she would look at this and go, that's my shiny. No. It's vile. Why are you gonna do that? Kill her. Absolutely kill her. So your other option is to go into the shop and pick something else. And can she do that? Well, obviously it's got to be within the same price range or we'll have to ring Anna as Which well. Which is? £949, so... I'm going to have to have a look for something else, aren't I, and see. It's because... She's had her heart set on that one in the other shop. The, remember the first dress with the cut, side cut out? I don't know what she's going to do then. Are you ready to come in, ladies? <laughs> I love it. It's absolutely beautiful, Sean. All the detail here and it's got colour as well, isn't it? It is gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I do actually really like her. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna kill her. I can't believe what she's done to me. <laughs> I'm dreading the day tomorrow. <laughs> because the hen night night was wrong, this was wrong. What yeah, else? Comes the threes. Do you want me to bring on Yeah, I think someone should, yeah. Hello? Hello, you Hannah? Yeah, it is. What's up? She tried the dress on, but she just feels like it's not her. So she's gone for a different dress. <sighs> Are you OK? Hi. Anna. Yeah, sorry. Um, hold on. She just feels like the dress, it just, it didn't, it made her feel uncomfortable. Okay, as long as she's comfortable, that's all right. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. She didn't sound too happy then, did she? She sounds a bit disappointed, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, she did say that. Yeah, no, I've got to... Do, it's got to be this one. Yeah, I'm going for this. It's the night before the wedding. And Anna's trying to put her last bit of love into the venue. But the earlier call has made her question how well she really knows her woman. Just today, it's just been the worst day ever. It's just... I don't know, it just depressed me today. The worst bit was when Hannah phoned me saying Sean didn't like the dress. I feel like not marrying her now.
three weeks of worry, stress and tears. And it's the day they say I do. Anna's girly surprises start to turn up as she splashed out on makeup for her future wife. Oh, wow. Yay, come on. Bring the two bridesmaids in for me, please. <laughs> She's even remembered to capture the moment. Oh, that must be for our mad. Oh, wow. Look at your magic wand. Just done us so proud, honest to God. Oh, <laughs> Even Anna and Jade are getting dolled up. That is really lovely. More surprises. Anna's arranged vintage cars for her traditional bride. <laughs> now everything's kind of fitting into place and she's thought of everything. Little angel, can't wait to see her. That looks boss. I've done it. I'm with two minutes to spare. We're going to be so late. Oh, wait. That's the bride's prerogative. <laughs> Sean! Yay! Oh, my goodness, Madison, look at you. Oh, you look like, like a princess like me. So far, so feminine. But what will Sean make of the town hall she'll be taking her vows in? Bye. I just want to know where it is. I know. Maybe it's going to be like a hotel. I know, it's going to be the registry office, it's going to be. Has they gone too far for to be the registry office? I don't know. Oh my god, Queen. it's a town hall. Big and the Queen. It is, it's a town hall. <gasps> oh my god, there's a Beautiful? Beautiful, yeah. 
Anna, you're going to start us off? Yeah. yeah. I, Anna Marie Mumford. I, Anna Marie Mumford. Pledge to share my life. Pledge to share my life. With Sean Marie Williams. With Sean Marie Williams. I promise to cherish and care for you. I promise to cherish and care for you. To honour and encourage you. To honour and encourage you. And this is my promise to you. And this is my promise to you. Thank you. Sean, I give you this ring. As a token of my abiding love. As a token of my abiding love. And a sign of the promises we have made here today. And a sign of the promises we have made here today. Wear it always. Wear it always. As a reminder of my love for you. As a reminder of my love to you. Now my great pleasure to pronounce you as partners in love and partners in law. Should we give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? We were stunning. Even though that's not the dress outfit. Even though that's not the dress outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, I love you. Mwah, I love Thank you. you. It's perfect. You might divorce me in a minute when you see what's going on. <sighs> Save two on that one. <laughs> Time to whisk the bride off to her industrial estate. Thank you. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover shot. It's gonna be like an old build. This is not round, yeah? Nothing at all. Sean, you worried? You're not worried. Of course, I'm worried. Look where you've brought me, Anna. You've got to go up in a lift. The hell comes up in a lift on the wedding venue. Me and you? Oh, I like this. I've got the butterflies, because I've butterflies. <gasps> Looks like Anna ditched her junkyard theme. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! To display an understated elegance she never knew she had. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Oh my god, look at the cake. <gasps> Anna. Oh, it's got butterflies on the cake. Oh my god, Anna, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, stop crying. <laughs> not to cry. Yeah, I but it's just freezing. Oh my god, what the hell is that over there? That's your name. That's who we're talking about. Tie all the dresses on. <laughs> oh my god, where have you Oh my god, Anna, this is just un like. Unreal. Unreal. I, do you know what? When like, I was thinking I was getting married, I, I'd never thought of anything like this. Who would have seven Chinese chairs? <laughs> eight eight so, Chinese yeah. chairs. I wouldn't have had anything like this, I know I wouldn't have. Thank you. You're worth it, okay. <laughs> oh, baby, I love who you are. You're the best. Thank you. I'm proud of myself. Made up. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. I've been like that. I haven't cried. I swear to God, I haven't cried for years, and I've cried every day doing this. Every day, most days, I was in tears yesterday. But it's worth it. It's been amazing. The newlyweds downstairs. Newlyweds, and there she are. Congratulations, girls! Woo! Another round of applause for Sean and Anna. Anna put her heart and soul into making a wedding fit for both of them, and all in the name of love. I think today she's pulled it off perfect. I really do believe that. Like she couldn't have done better. <laughs> when you've got this at the end of it. Amazing. Fabulous. I certainly wouldn't have had this day but with Rana. I love her more than anything in the world. She's just amazing and I couldn't ask for a better person to be marrying today. I can't even explain how proud I am because she'll get a fat head. <laughs> <laughs> Done it, didn't we? Hey, we pulled it off. We pulled it off. 
Everyone is a good one. Everyone is a good one. Everyone is a good one. Today has just completely blown me away. Every single thing about today has just been perfect. She's just outdone anything that anyone could have imagined, I think. I'm just so happy and amazed with that. Obviously, I've got to marry someone like Hannah, and she's done this for me. I just can't thank her, and even Jade, you know. I couldn't wait to see you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Aww. Next week, the stakes couldn't be any higher. Having a second chance at life. You didn't know whether she was going to die, that she was going to end up paralysed. Will the groom put a smile on her face? This is my wedding day. It's not a joke. And survive the sister-in-law from hell? If you don't get this sorted, you'll see my bad attitude. Before the bride loses control. I don't think many women would let a rugby player do the wedding for them. Definitely dead man walking knickers now. Tell them on over I'll see you on Thursday. I don't even want to get married now because it's just a sham. <laughs> I've got no plans, I'm flapping in back to watch your ex-friends. If you want me, get with me, yeah, yeah, keep your hands in the air one time. Like, put your hands in the air, put my face down low. Big, 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 big